Hello and welcome to another RGH tutorial. Um, I'm pretty sure most of these can be used on JTAGs as well. I personally do not own a JTAG, and so I'm not calling them JTAG tutorials, though uh, they probably work with um, most of them anyway. Anyway, for this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to install games to your hard drive. Uh, I am going to be showing that off via disk, but the same methods can be applied using it on a flash drive or using FTP to do that. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you it. It's okay. You'll figure it out. Right now, I'm also going to show you how to do it with games that have install disks. So Halo 4, for instance, has an install disk, as you can see. So what we're going to want to do is just go into XEX menu, and then we're going to go to DVD, okay? What you're going to want to do is there's a folder called content. That's what it's going to be installing. Go in there, then all those zeros go into there, and then the folder that's inside of that, we wanna copy that, and we wanna go ahead and go to our hard drive, then we wanna go to wherever you have all of your, your files stored, mine's in content, go into there, and then paste it in there. As you can see, I already have it in there, but that's what you would do. Now, if you were using a flash drive or FTP, it would be the exact same as that. That's how it would look some games you can just run the disc off and then have it run like it normally would and just install it for you but that way you can see both ways and you can see if you need to use a flash drive that's exactly how you do it you just drag it over there copy it and paste it in there now the next part is pretty simple uh go ahead and put the disc in and then they have a nice little utility for you called dvd extract okay so go ahead and open that up and then hit to include a system update folder we're going to want that so you can actually get updates and then it should automatically fill in the name for you and pick your destination path where you have all of your other games if you don't have any other games saved you can make a new folder i just have my game folder called xbox 360 and then go ahead and start copy it's probably going to take a while and then once that's over with you can just go ahead and go to your game and play it uh, Freestyle Dash does have a way to play games on there. I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to access it, but I like using Aurora more, so I'll show you that. And on Aurora, they actually have servers up. So I'm going to download the newest title update, make sure my game isn't glitchy, make sure it, it, the dashboard doesn't mess with it, make sure just nothing is going to go wrong. So I'll go ahead and download that and install that. And then, as you can see, we're getting in the game and poof, there we are. We're in game, everything's working and that's how you do it. If you want to have your files from just the normal disc copied over and you aren't using a disc, okay, that didn't make sense. If you are not using a disc and you have the files backed up on a flash drive or on your computer and you want to FTP, you can just move the content folders into wherever folder you want to have it. For example, mine is Xbox 360. That's where I have all my games. You just go ahead and move it into there and then have either Aurora or Freestyle Dash go ahead and pick a path for them. And then it'll just auto recognize it and you'll be set. 